the era of the cars that I have pretty much bought, um, I was only 10, 11, 12 years old. But it wasn't until I got in college in 1978 or 79 that I saw my first Hemi Cuda. And I saw that giant 426 Hemi sitting in the engine compartment and I saw the pistol grip shifter, I saw power windows, overhead consolette. It was just amazing. All I could think about was how am I gonna get enough money to buy some of these cars? 1971 for the Mopar gang is regarded as the last year for true high performance big block engines. The 1971 Hemi Cuda, especially with a four speed, is at the top of the performance car food chain. This is the car that every automotive collector wants to have and only a select handful are gonna be able to have one. Convertibles with big engines and four-speed manual transmissions just didn't make sense. It, it, it wasn't the thing that the common buyer would opt for. They said it's insane, you know, it, it's not practical to put a 426 Hemi in these convertibles. You know, the weight, the support, they weren't really designed as a convertible. You know, they'd put it in the hard top. But so the, the factory would actually discourage you from ordering it. The production numbers are so low you just can't find them. And you, you have a Hemi, you have a four speed. I mean, in my mind, it's the holy grail. Tommy 71 with the 446 barrel engine, this car obviously took a different approach. He wanted to be seen. You've got the tour red paint that's retina burning. You've got the white billboard striping, which you can't miss. I found out pretty quick that 71 six pack convertibles were almost as rare as Hemi convertibles. Five four speeds, 12 automatics. Uh, they just didn't exist. Tom 71 Challenger factory Hemi car with a four speed pistol grip shifter, completely documented and a very well known and vetted out car, is the perfect sole Dodge Challenger of this collection. Now, what really makes this car stand out is that this is an original paint car. This is an unrestored original, exceptionally rare, exceptionally desirable, factory stock. And again, with the 426 Hemi backed by that pistol grip four speed shifter. The white Hemi Cuda hardtop is exceptionally rare. Again, you have a car that has the, the exact drivetrain that you would want for the ultimate performance Hemi Cuda. Black billboard striping on alpine white paint makes it a car that's gonna stand out in any crowd. And again, talking back to the rarity factor, 59 total is exceptionally rare even when the car was new and of course you have to wonder how many of those cars remain today in the condition of this one. It's got all original sheet metal, it's got the original motor and trans, I've had it up on the lift numerous times cleaning it, the numbers on the block and the transmission are perfect, it's got two build sheets, the original tags, you don't find many Hemi Cudas in that condition. This group of four 1971 E-Body Mopars is undisputedly the absolute finest group in the world. Tom Lembeck is a known name in the Mopar world and in the collector world. The cars that he has are dialed in and they're ready to drive. These cars are made to be driven. That's what's amazing about cars. They're drivable art. You know, they'll never make another 71 Hemi Cuda convertible. This is it. That's all they made, and you know, once it's gone, it's gone.